Even though they didn't take action last night, deputies in Durham say protesters crossed the line. Our coverage continues with CBS North Carolina's Derek Lewis. And Derek, the sheriff says what started out as a civil issue is now a criminal one. Yeah, Sean, it is a criminal act, uh, a criminal one, but now I just found out that Takia Thompson has been released from jail. Take a look behind me. She is over there right now with a crowd of supporters. When she walked out of the, out of the doors, they all cheered and hugged her, supporting her for what uh, she did and her release. Now, tonight, Durham's Mayor Bill Bell is responding to the protest. He says he's not surprised about what happened. USA. Mayor Bill Bell saw this statue come falling down in his city Monday. I was not necessarily surprised. Uh, There's a lot of emotion involved, and obviously it was an opportunity for the protesters to, to make a statement, and that's, that's obviously what they did. The sheriff's office has made at least one arrest. Bell says protesters should know every action has a reaction. I'm not trying to say what was right or wrong. I think when people take deliberately take uh, actions to use civil disobedience or whatever they have, they have to, ought to be prepared for the consequence. Despite damage done to public property, he says there is something to be thankful for. What's important, uh, it's a statute. <laughs> it's not a human being, no lifeless laws, no injuries. Uh, I think we're thankful for that. Uh, statutes can be replaced or restored, and of course that's up and up to a decision the county commissions do, but it was a statute, it wasn't an individual. And I think for, for that reason, we have a lot to be thankful for. Now, Tom Thompson did not want to answer many questions. However, despite being arrested, she did say that she is feeling good. Now, I talked to the mayor, and he says that social media plays a large role in connecting people today to fight for what they believe in. Live in Durham, I'm Derek Lewis, CBS North Carolina. Now